Hey everybody, welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. I hope you're having a great day today. I've decided to move that water tower I was talking about at the end of the last video. So uh, it's being moved. I uh, tore, tore it down, right, and uh, moving it over. And then I'm making a copy of it uh, next to it. So we're going to have double the storage for water in this area. We have these uh, two outhouses that are being built as well. We're going to make sure that they get upgraded immediately. I don't want any pollution to... Uh, happen here and this is to just let people have better hygiene right they're gonna have a place to We've made a new discovery. oh here we go drilled wells is done that's good <clears throat> we're gonna get upgrading uh wells as well too wells as well yeah well that's the way it is well <laughs> uh it is it's done and uh now i'm gonna start research on leadership and that's gonna let us upgrade the campsite there's a lot of wasted space in the campsite I'm kind of thinking that it's... I'm hoping, anyway, these upgrades for it is the same blueprint. It's the same uh, space, right? I don't want to have to move it or anything like that. So I assume that it's it's structured this way because the upgrades will gradually start using more and more of this space. At least that's what I'm kind of hoping happens. Um, we need to up... We need to repair the cookhouse, but we're running really low on wood right now. And uh, I think we have these wooden ruins here. We've started to collect from them. But, you know, the collection point for that is way over here. So it's going to take some time. The more carriers we have, the easier that will probably get. And we need to get additional tools because that is hurting us a lot. So on the map, Wallaby just got done with these two resources or these two places. He's going to be bringing back 62 components and 17 basic tools. That 17 tools is good, but I, we really should start making our own. I haven't been doing that yet because I've been bringing them from the map trying to like delay that if you will and uh, I need to start doing it so I'm thinking I'm going to place it right here and there's only 36 pollution here 30 honestly the pollution is being uh cleaned up very fast much faster than it used to so I'm very happy with that so I'm going to place a tool shop right over here and this is going to let mm, yes right there and that's going to let us start using that metal that we've been scavenging to create tools so that we don't have everybody being like, I don't have tools, man. I can't do my job. Yeah, we need that. We need that job to happen. Um, I believe the irrigated fields, they use a lot of water, but I think that makes them immune to heat waves. So probably look into doing that, too. And then I think another maintenance place is a really good idea to have as well. I haven't really decided where I'm going to place that, but... I'm thinking probably right here, next to the this. It gives us pretty decent coverage in this area. Uh, it covers my power area. It covers a lot of this other stuff. Um, if I put it into here, that could work too. But I'm also thinking I'm gonna want to put my my meals, uh, the the mess hall, later on. The mess hall is very large. I'm thinking about putting it right here. And so if I place this, like say here, for example, for additional maintenance work. I can get all the maintenance and all these buildings and stuff here too. And then we're of course expanding our medical, or another medical tent here too. Because I have people that are irradiated and sick and all that stuff. I don't want people to die, right? Uh, the other thing I wanted to do today is I wanted to start yep. handling some of the bandits, okay? Move it. I got my fighter on her way down here and these bandits, there's 215 research underneath them. So when we take them out, we'll, we'll be able to get that. Wallaby, help. just keep going. Um, I want want you to go there. On it. Now, I, I know that they're going to move at the end of their turn. Um, they'll automatically do it at the end of the turn sequence. I want them to do it now. Um, I'm a little bit more, more impatient. But uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to bring all these specialists that are in. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them that are in the camp. I'm going to turn Kate into a settler, I think. And then the others are going to come out. And we're just going to go from, like, hostile place to hostile place. We're just going to hop around and take these guys down. I think that's the next course of action here. Um, for Kate, I'm going to send her to the map as a settler. Because just stats-wise, she's the best candidate for that at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yes. And I think I'm going to send her over this way. Um, this place right here gives a lot of, of science i'm trying to see if i can Ready. okay that's not what i wanted to do but uh oh good now i can't get this great all right 
I didn't want to click that. I wanted to click this. My bad. Anyway, this gives 30 signs every 12 hours. So I want to set up another camp over here. So the settler, right. I'm going to have come on over to this region, which looks like it can just... I think this right here will tag up. Yeah. So right about here, we can Go. set up a camp. And that settler will do that. In the meantime, the rest of you guys... There's so many... Like, there's so many icons above people's heads, you know? They are mostly happy. Mostly. A lot of restlessness. They're not getting enough sleep, I guess. I'd like to maybe see if there's anything I could do about that, you know? Eventually. Everybody's just hanging out in this area. They're not, there's no such thing as social distancing in this place. And, uh... Yeah, uh, a few... A little bit of wood is delivered here, and I think we're going to be struggling for wood for quite some time, I, I, I believe. I have eight spare water. This is, this is we bad. We, we need a lot more spare water than this to offset like any risks for heat waves and things like that. We're going to need a lot more. Um, so I'm, I'm going to want to upgrade these wells. I got the deep drilling now, and so I can drill these wells. It's just really heavy on resources. It's very expensive to do this. But it, it, it only, it looks like it only ups the water production by 16. No, sorry. It looks like it ups the water production by four. So it, that doesn't seem worth it to me at all. To spend all those resources to do that? I don't think so. I'm going to demolish these two outhouses. And then I can move the work area for this maintenance to be kind of more like this instead. And uh, we're going to get the wood from here. Right from tearing down these buildings, and it's gonna get moved and repurposed for the houses and stuff that we're building. Um, but I'm gonna go in and say that water collection should happen. Oh, you won't let me build over here, will you? Can I do water collection over here by chance at all? Needs to be on the shore. Medium efficiency. Okay. So I just need to step step back a little bit. 63. So this is plus nine. Is there any way to get like a plus 10 out of this by chance? Uh, seven. Yeah, I mean, plus nine will just have to be the way it is. So I'm going to have another dock right here. That's ready to go for water collection. Should we need to do that? Should the need arise? And then I'll also probably another one maybe over here if it, if it lets me. Um, it looks like it will let me, but it's not very good. I mean, it's something, right? It's plus eight. So the idea here is that if in an emergency we need more water, I can start put, putting people over here to do it. The resources for these docks are pretty pretty small. And um, I realize it's a little bit next to pollutants here, but if we need water, then I can start assigning people to get them when the wells and stuff are drying up. Uh, and then let's go ahead and have this repaired too, if possible. There's just a lot of wood needs. We're just really low on that. And I think getting yet another lumber camp is probably just the way to go here. I didn't want to do it, but I'm going to... Another lumber yard. And if we place this maybe over here. Hmm. There's a lot of trees out this way. Maybe I can stick this kind of next to this pile right here. Let's try that. We just need people to go, man. No work in this area. Okay, so all the pollution's gone. That's sick. That's really cool. It, it just, it's so fast, you know? It's way faster than it used to be. Uh, concrete scavenging is done. There was another pile over here somewhere. Right there. Go get it. All right. Insufficient material for, for the lumber yard. Yeah, because you need lumber to build the lumber yard. I know. It's okay. I've got a lot of things queued up. And um, the shanty is done. They're going to start building that for us now. I think I'm going to go ahead and pause this one so they don't deliver any more wood there. And we can start focusing our wood supply in places where it's where it's going to work. Pandemic. Okay. The first signs of a pandemic are upon us. At first, it's just a cough. But then the fever picks up. People start dropping like flies. And the colony grinds to a halt. Now, it's a question of how quickly you react. Several staffed medical facilities can nullify it almost completely, but if left unchecked, it spreads like wildfire. Pandemics come in waves, 
Infecting colonists, the disease dehydrates the body, increasing colony water consumption. Build enough medical facilities to treat the infected and gather antibiotics to speed up the healing process. Okay. Okay. Slow this down. So, we have one day until the pandemic. First off, let's put this back over here. Take one of you off of it. And uh, I, I, I've talked, people have said things about like uh, production limits and stuff. I haven't really needed to use those yet because I'm going to be using them for a lot of other things. Like I'm going to be, uh, you know, gathering a lot of resources. I'm going to go ahead and put 250 on this. So there you go. So at 250 for the plastics, uh, we'll stop. Uh, for metals, I've gone ahead and done that uh, at 400. So we're currently not collecting metals. However, um, we're, we're also not making any tools right now, and that's kind of a problem. And now it looks like we've got a grumpy looking group at the gate. Yeah, they're ready to go for, yeah. So we're gonna wanna, wanna staff this area too. Okay, uh, Aramis, get up front. Hakeem, get up front. Pinkman, yep. Yeah. Just get everybody up front here and uh, we'll fight these guys off. It looks like we have to. Water collector's done. Apparently that one was first, great. Let's just unstaff that for the time being. And I think we're ready to go on this, this bandit camp here. We have to fight against the pandemic and that's gonna require a lot of medical facilities or at least a lot of people working them. Six medics should be plenty and I have a whole lot of medicine. Not a whole lot of antibiotics, but a whole lot of medicine. Well, let's hope that that's enough. Um, do I even need production speed on pollution disposal? I don't, I don't think I even need that, man. Shelving could be okay. But we're not really at a, we don't really have a problem with that yet. Remembrance is good for happiness. So is shrine, all this stuff is really great for happiness. I'm thinking we go with maybe animal husbandry. Energy consumption down by 50% for the, so I could do protected crops. That could be cool. Ice fishing. A couple of people said they wanted me to try ice fishing. So we can get plus one fish if we just do the wider piers too. That would help our food supply. Uh, let's let's go ahead and try that. Let's go ahead and do that for research for the time being. And then specials on the map have actions. Let's take a look really quick. Uh, yep, I want definitely want you to head back. And then yes. you, you're gonna fight these bandits. It looks like you're. The balance of power is nice here. There are 12 of them. They each do one damage and they each have five health. So in the first exchange here, you're gonna wipe out, looks like five of them. So that's, you should win that easy. You should win that pretty easily. Uh, is there any other bandit camps we wanna go after? 207 research there. That's nice. Uh, what else? 32 antibiotics here. That would have helped us a lot with our yep. pandemic problems, wouldn't it? feel like it would have do i want to build an outpost in this spot or do i want to go all the way up here and get this one that is the question 25 and 12 hours if i go all the way up here i get that extra five but i probably should go all the way up huh? i think i'm gonna go ahead and commit to going all the way up Roger. just let her go uh okay so bandits at the wall were, were staffed ready to go yep okay let's talk to him a heavily armored truck screeches to a halt by the gate okay a group of well-armed people pours out led by a large man with a machine gun the leader kicks the gate menacingly we're on a hunt and need some supplies he announces i suggest you hand them over so no one has to get hurt mercenaries are clearly capable of doing a lot of damage to the colony yet giving in to their demands doesn't sit right with people if i give them less than they demand like they're still gonna get mad right <laughs> so <laughs> threats are not tolerated let's just see how much damage they really do oh interesting two colonists are injured 30 have wait really we don't have to fight them what wait a minute the leader sizes up the gate and ultimately decides that trying to breach it isn't worth the hassle. Have it your way, he says. He gestures to the group. They open fire on the colonists standing on the gate. Before the colonists can shoot back, the group has jumped in their cars and driven off. That's that's silly. I could have taken them, man. That's silly. Now they're gonna they just make everybody unhappy. Oh, that sucks. 
68 disagreement. Everybody disagrees. Well, whatever, all right? I probably could have gave them a little bit of food, but whatever. I don't like people telling me what to do, okay? I don't like it. You can't tell me. All right, cookhouse. Let's get two people working there to help with our food supply a little bit more. Although food is looking pretty good in storage. Um, it's really just all down to the wood, isn't it? It's Yeah, it really is all down to the wood. We'll, we'll go... Um, I want them eating meals. I don't want them eating like the raw resources, you know? Four unhappy colonists are threatening to leave. Like, we were super happy until that random event. That's silly. Ah, oh, that's so silly. Okay, um, pull you off of there. Pull you three off of there. At least two of you. And then the rest yes. of you guys, we're sending you to the world map. Yes. Pinkman, yes. you can go. Uh, yep. Nick, you can go. Let's Your send man. Mishka with your 20 damage. Yes, go. Uh, Hakeem, you don't do a whole lot of damage, I don't think. Nine is still something, though. Uh, what's this guy? You got a scavenger who does nine damage. Okay. He's actually really great at scavenging. So, okay. We're gonna have, we'll, we'll go ahead and get you. And then, uh, Hakeem, I'm gonna send you. We've reached a milestone. Oh, we are now eco friendly. Nice. Um. How do I make you happier? <laughs> Entertainment buildings, which I don't have. You're about to get a whole lot less happy here because we're about to get, you know, this contagion is about to happen. So good luck with that. Uh, what's our new guy? Zhang. Zhang. What's up? Zhang. Do you, um, you have okay stats? Nine attack. Like, your stats are really good for everything, kind of. So I'm going to send you to the world map and what's up? I guess Hakeem hey, can be sent to another research site if I can get him there. So now everybody's out of camp. I hope I don't get attacked. <laughs> uh, Hakeem, we're going to send you I think down this way. Scavenging is 150%. We'll, we'll send you down this way for the time being. Although okay, that extra set of attacking power can still help overthrow these guys. Maybe we just put everybody check. We just put everybody down here. Your command. All right. I think so. Uh -huh. I think we're just going to take everybody and get them all sure come down here. Pinkman, you too, you slowpoke. Yep. Uh, looks like you can actually reach it if I go here. Sure thing. And then Aramis, you're a lot faster than the rest. Right. Go there. Okay. And then finally, we Your get orders. you in here. My pleasure. And now we've got tools, thankfully. Job done. All right. Darius, he just got those clothing. There was a whole bunch of protective clothing in here, sturdy clothing in here. Um, but you're wounded from doing all this. So I'm going to have you research, or I'm going to have you scout this right area on. to see what's there. And then yes. our settler is on their way to make a camp right. over here for that extra research point. All right. The wallaby's back in camp. We're going to have you hang out in camp for a while just to heal yourself up. And just like that, we filled our entire bar. Isn't that nice? And everybody can run over and get the tools that he brought back. We're not going to make it. Oh, my God. We may not. Let's take and get one more medical tent just because it's more wood. God. Like, what is taking us so long on this wood? You know? Like, what is the deal here? What is it about this? Hmm. Well, yeah, all these two shanties. I forgot all about them. That was our wood consumption, was those two shanties. And then this one was paused. And then we need this. That's going to get... This is getting built next. I want to make tools. And then we have more survivors. Coming in during a pandemic. That's bold. You must really have nowhere else to go. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. You know, they have... They're bringing clothes, they're bringing tools, they're bringing firewood and fish. I mean, these are all things that are great and there's not that many of them. We just got a whole lot of, a whole lot more housing. So, okay, you are accepted, welcome in. And now you can get infected and sick. <laughs> and now you'll be sick. Okay, so there's 
We're occupying pretty much everything we can. Medical supplies. Like, we just need everything. I need I need the tent built. Confirm. This is going to get built anyway. All the stuff has been delivered. We've made a new discovery. 13 colonists infected. Wider piers are done. So we should be getting more fish for the same. Should be able to have more people in the fisheries, I mean. And I think if we upgrade to the fishing hut, the dock equipped with a hut and proper tools for fishing year round. Fishing hut stays functional during winter storms without additional heating. Very good. And it looks like it'll also produce two more fish in addition. Uh, it's just a lot of wood. God, it's so much wood. We need so many more lumber camps. Like, I just need another lumber camp, I feel like. Like, one more should be something I do, right? It's got to be something I do. Let's make our own tools. Yep, let's make our own tools. So we're doing that now. Uh, the specialist brought back a whole bunch. That's going to help us for a little while. And then, it's, like, I seriously, as soon as this uh, tent is done, I believe that is the part where I start to see this number rise. I think we're going to chill chill on the logging camp for a bit. We don't need the extra firewood right now. We are down 68 water. Good lord. Oh boy. Well. How long does a pandemic last? The more people we treat, the less... Like, as we treat people, they stop needing more water, right? So this is... This is all dependent on how many people are sick. The lack of water. It's all dependent on how many people are sick, I think. Let's get an extra doctor in there. Good lord. What is going on here? What facilities are using water? I need to cut... I mean, I can't stop the toilets. They, they're not connected anyway. None of these are using water right now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We are almost out of storage, too. Oh, it's over. It's over. And you know what? We might just live. <laughs> I think we're going to be fine. Look, 327. Huh? We have everybody working on the... Okay, I wasn't manning this one, and I could have. Uh, and I still can. Let's get that in there. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to be fine. Good. <laughs> Maintenance Depot is here. And we're going to start having things maintained. Let's move the work area and expand it to be like this, let's say. All right. Uh, yeah, we survived. So I want to see this. I haven't seen this yet, and I want to. So campsite, we can now upgrade it to the colony center. It has more capacity to store things, too. Freaking rats, dude. That sounds nasty. Sounds gross. Let's upgrade it. It doesn't take any materials to do that, and it's actually really quick. And so we end up with now a colony center, which looks a lot better. Actually, it looks considerably better. Same footprint, though. I like that. And then um, when we do the city hall or whatever later, it should have the same footprint again, hopefully. Okay, so we still have infected. We still have people sick, and that's causing us to use more water than we should. But we are at least now positive on water. So if we can just keep treating them, right? Just keep going. Keep giving them medicine. Hopefully the unhappy are starting to get more happy. It's a little bit. It's no longer a disagreement. Fine. Go back to the map here really quick. Yep. And uh, you can okay. now establish a settlement right here. And get the, or the outpost. And this outpost can get us 39 every 12 hours. That's that's really cool. Okay. 39 every 12 hours. You are seeing outpost some fun boxes and a shopping center up there. Can you get this and then head back? Five damage. Okay, yeah, you, you can handle that. Moving. I'm going to have you get that. It's going to take a little bit more damage. And then if we go over to Aramis, all of you guys are ready to go, I hope. We won the battle. You've also won your battle, which is sweet. And you didn't take all that much damage either, which is nice. There's 215 science points here. We could have Akeem do that. 
Yep. Mm, uh -huh. I'd rather you fight because you're stronger. So I'm going to have you fight here. Engaging hostile. We're going to have... Oh, wow. You walk all the way in there. What's up? Go nice. Ahead. Let's put you in there. Yes. Pinkman, join the party, please. Locked and loaded. Uh-huh. All the way in. Wow. And then we can get... In. Who else has really great attack? Nine damage. Uh, -huh. uh Nine damage. How about, how about you? Twelve damage. Ready. And nine damage. Uh, you in. get science points at 250 per 12 hours. You can get this. Okay. Let's have you go get that. The rest of you, go, go in there and help. Yes. And Hakeem... Yeah, you might, you might as well. Everybody go in and help. It's cool. Like, we're just going to completely destroy them. Like, they're completely surrounded. And we're going to take this group, and we're just going to wipe out all the red zones. We're just going to try and wipe them all out as best as we can. And then we don't have to deal with them anymore, hopefully. Okay. Still have 27 colonists infected. But we're at least not low on water anymore. At least survivability-wise. <laughs> we are still dying though dies of infection yeah the, yeah okay it's gonna kill some people i guess Ow. okay that's very annoying <laughs> like can i sure can i turn the voice off on some of these alerts don't tell me over don't tell me over and over again that they're dying waiting for available worker Hang on. So, carrier count, right? Uh, I've got it set to five as a minimum. We're going to go to four. And now I have somebody in the school. I think I just lost a whole bunch of people. There's still 15. There's still 15 infected, but we're, we're treating them. They're getting treated. They're just not getting treated fast enough. Four, four of these medical centers aren't enough. I've got lots of meds, though. But four of the medical centers are not enough. Really unfortunate. Like, they're going to wait outside the camp and be like, I'm still infected and I can't do anything and, and they'll end up dying. Six. Yep. Six health, five health, four, three, two. Like, they're not going to a medical facility because there's no space for them. Yeah. We just don't have enough. It's just the way it is. So, they died. This problem will solve itself eventually. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was... It's just like, I can't do anything about it. No, there's no amount of construction I could do fast enough that would give me a medical tent for them to use. So um, we are we are losing people and that's really unfortunate. The good news is we can just head over here and say, hey, survivors, come on over and join us, man. We just have more. All done. Sweet. Uh, this battle is won now, very cool. We're gonna have you head this direction. Showtime. Actually, no, I can't. I was hoping I could kind of cheat it to where you would come after this and then you'd get that free movement, but nope. All right, we'll have you head. Uh, have you head this way Attack. to fight these guys? We won the battle. All right, so this is done, and we can now get everything. Everything is exposed here now. So. Um, one day, two hours. Who has the 300% on What's the scavenging it? speed? 350 on science. All right. All right. One of you guys has really help. high scavenging, Reporting right? 200%. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we have you go get this, but that's too far away. Orders. Is there anybody that's... Ready. I mean, Shoot. you know... I'm start, I, I think 150 uh -huh. is fine. Akeem can go do this. 150 is fine. Sure thing. We'll have you get this. The yep. rest of you are going to head towards this you got it. Uh, spot here so that you can all so, fight can do. this this area over here. Going. Uh -huh. so we're going to stay together, Check. and we're just going to wipe out the bandits. And there is another bandit camp here, and um, I think maybe we'll have uh, you three. We'll take this little one out. I think so. Yeah, we'll have you three take this little one out. Um, we'll not, we're not going to attack it yet, so we'll just head to here and get this in two hours. This 200 science points. My yeah. pleasure. So we'll get this first, 
And then, um, you know, you guys will take this out while everyone else heads in this direction. There's 85 health per bandit here. There's only one bandit? Wait, there's only one? That just must be how the fort works. It, it's, it, I think that's just how the fort works. Uh, okay, research-wise, what do we want to do here? I was thinking about going animals. But as I look at my colony and what we really need, I'm thinking, like, we need to make tools. I know that much. But I I'm thinking we could use a little bit more for, like, happiness. So part of me wants to head down, like, community tree and start looking at remembrance and shrines and... You know, things that can make people happier. Uh, entertainment buildings and stuff, right? And I think interior walls is nice too because the tenement can get upgraded. We're not using it yet. Everybody's living in their own houses right now. So it's not critical. But I'm thinking I can go down like this. Uh, public house. I think I'm going to go down shrines. We're going to hit remembrance and shrines uh, to make people as happy as we can. Yeah, and most of the people that died were, of course, working in buildings and stuff. And now we have so many infected. Just so many infected. That's just, that pandemic sucked. All right, so we're going to unstaff these two medical centers. And uh, we're going to leave just these two operating now. And we can only leave, we, we only need to leave one here. And we probably can get away with, whoa, hang on. What is this? Specialist in danger. No, no. What specialist is in danger? All you. done. You're done. Um, yeah, just head this way. The, my camp is under attack or something right now. I gotta figure out why. Let's have you go this okay. way. Ready. And everyone else is just gonna get going. close enough to attack this without doing it this turn, and then we'll do Your it command? next turn. Right away. Don't mind us, Lushton. Shoot. Our heavily armored troop that's just going through your... Yes. I feel like I'm playing Civilization right now. It's like, don't mind me, allies. I'm definitely not attacking you. I'm just putting all of my troops right on your Check. border. No big deal. Yes. Uh, you can easily go... Uh, you know, we'll take this out and then we'll head... We'll, we'll take those guys out on the way back. Let's just get you... Yeah, we'll just get you to be like, I don't know, here, I guess, okay. whatever. Uh, who else? Who else? Reporting Aramis in. has one action left. No big deal. Okay. What's going on in here, though? Somebody's under attack. At least I, that's, that's the sound it made anyway. Yes. Where? Holy crap. What's going on? Oh, the rats. Oh, yes. Wallaby, can you help? Oh, I wish I could tell this guy to run away. He's just going to sit there and fight and die. I think he's just going to fight this. And that's going to end up... He's going to end up dying because he's not running away. Oh, that sucks. Uh, Wallaby, he's running that way. I don't have any additional specialists here. Thankfully, though, Wallaby is fully healed. But I think this guy just dies. He's not running away from the rats. They spit? The rat beetles. Gross. Oh, they spit. Yeah, run, dude. Run. There you go. You should have been doing this before. I really wish you were doing this before you were, you know, gravely wounded. What's up? All right. Yep. No, stop. All right. Hold on. Are they attacking the colony? Shoot this. Shoot him. Wallaby, you can do this. You are much more capable than that colonist. Go. Shoot him. I thought you were more capable. I was pretty convinced you were more capable. I mean, you are, but this is more damage than I thought you would be taking. Get him. Maybe I shouldn't have put everybody on the map. I think he's going to be fine. He's a tough guy. He's, he's faced things worse than this before. 
There you go. There you go. Good job. Anything else? Any other rat beetles to destroy here? Gotta make sure they die. Huh? Here, let's just just haul the meat back to the camp. Uh, colonist lives. I think colonist lives. Yes. Nope. Wrong. Wrong guy. Well, I thought it was this guy, but I guess not. He lives, though. He didn't. I didn't get a notice that he died, so I think he lives. Uh, deposit depleted. So that takes care of. That's an old alert. Small. Oh, that's sorry. That's the rat beetle. Rat beetle carcass is depleted. Never mind. Well, these guys are like going to be in this area. If there's more rat beetles here, I should probably figure it out, right? Mission complete. Uh, you go back to All camp. Right. And let me see real quick on all of you guys. What are yep. you up to? Seven more hunting rifles. Hakeem's bringing the rifles. How are we doing on that, by the way? Seven automatic rifles. That's awesome. We should probably set up... Uh, we got to set up some more protection on our borders probably here. Um, let's try to get rid of as much of this as we can. This scout tower is nice, but I think we're, yeah, we're 100% scouted. So I'm going to just demolish that one now. And then I think this scout tower is going to get demolished too. And then we'll go ahead and build a new one over here. And I think I'll make it a guard post this time because it's, it's closer to problem areas. I think we'll make it like way out here. Where are they? Where are they looking right now? Yeah, I think I'll put a guard post like right here. And then that can maybe defend and we can scout faster and we can defend and all that stuff. Uh, over in this area, we got a big old nest of pollution over here though. Yeah, and concrete rubble's over here too. Yep, this is a problem. No wood to gather here. I think we'll make another Drop another guard post, let's say. How about right over here? Is that far enough away? We just scouted with this. So if I get rid of this scout... You know, maybe I just turn this into the guard post. I think I want it in a different spot. All right, hold on. Let's, let's see what this is. So if I wanted a guard post, it'd be 55 and 45. Which is what this cost right if i want to move it then it's it's fundamentally breaking this down and rebuilding here is the same exact thing it's just moving it and i think that's probably a better thing is to move it so i'm gonna put it like right put it like right here yeah so we're demolishing this now because we don't need it and then we're gonna demolish that and then uh th those should be resources here yep and then we'll go ahead and have this built Hopefully with those resources, but, you know, maybe not. I don't know. But this should at least give us additional scouting in this direction, plus some protection. This looks like it's the edge of the map, so maybe that's not the best place to build it either. Maybe it should go more this way. Maybe it should go more like this over here. It's just about scouting, right? We want to be able to identify opportunities on the map. Maybe I'll scout it over here. We'll put it right there instead. We've made okay. A new Let's take a look at our notifications because they're kind of starting to build up a little bit here. We're researching shrines now. Remembrance is done. So we're going to build that. Make people happy. Um, survivors the, at the post have arrived. Or survivors from the outpost have arrived. That's giving us extra people. Good. Um, we're low on tools. We know this. We're making tools now. Take a look really quick. Uh huh. Making tools. There are metals. Excellent. Uh, is it four metals for one set of tools? Yikes. We're going to be blowing through metals pretty quick here. We don't have workers. Oh, we're over our production limit. That's probably why. Colonist Opal is malnourished. Make sure there's more nutritious food, meats, and vegetables. I mean... Um, is everybody this way? 
No? Well, somebody tell that person to eat their veggies. All right. We're making vegetable meals. I could switch it to meat-based meals. It's just more pollution, you know? But maybe they need more meat-based nutrition. Whatever happened to mixed meals? We had mixed meals before. Now I have to, like, figure out which one to do, you know? That stinks. Um, we have, still have injuries and stuff. That'll get worked out. We have this new side quest called Burning Skies. During the first years after the initial incident, airplanes often turned into flying coffins as electromagnetic pulses and magnetic storms fried their in-flight computers with little warning. It's still possible to find plane wrecks turned grave sites for their unfortunate passengers. A specialist has spotted one such site, undisturbed and ready for looting not far from here. Okay. Let's track it down. Got people on the map that can do things Job now, done. right? So, Hakim's got weapons. Nice. Uh, we, I want him to go get this. And he will get that very quickly. However, if there is this... Okay, it's way over here. Which is basically opposite from everybody. Great. You right go away. here, Hakim. Alright, you guys are going to take these guys down. Your orders. Assuming you can get here in this move, which you cannot... Okay, you're gonna go get us. Um, uh, you'll just join the party late. Yes. I don't. I don't. I don't think that's matter. I don't think it matters. Um, you Engaging can go here. Hostile. You're gonna go here. You're going here. You're going here. Pinkman, you're in here. <laughs> Let's see if the balance of power is. Okay, so these guys are dead in six hours. I don't think I need you. We're going to have you go all the way up for there. That's six turns away, but we'll have you go up and do it. Uh, and actually, Wallaby could do it faster. Can do. Wallaby could do it faster. We're going to have you go here instead. And then <clears throat> Wallaby will send you, you to need? the map. We'll have you do the story instead. Because you're so close and you can do it right now. Ready. Well, let's have you go in three turns. Found something. And do that. Okay. So what did we do today, man? We got through a pandemic. We expanded housing. We solved a lot of the resource problems that we had. Uh, we're up to 200 wood in storage now. It's great. Plastic, good. Metal, awesome. Concrete, etc. We can also upgrade wells now to get more water, which I think is a great idea. Um, so I'm, it's, just, it's only extra for water. Maybe it's better to just build new wells instead of upgrading the existing ones. If it's only going to give us four water, I would rather spend less resources to get 12 water, provided that there's room to build it, right? Um, which in this case, there totally is. So uh, I can just go and put it like right here. Even over here more. 11, 12. I'll just do that. Uh, Colonist is under attack again. This time from a bear. Uh, there's two of you. I just sent the I just sent the specialist to the map. Like, I just did this. So, can you guys handle this yourself or no? I am concerned that this. Yeah, I'm concerned by this. Can you attack? No, you're just gonna let your countrymen die. I don't know how to target this. I don't think I can. I can't tell colonists to do individual things. Like, I can't say, you, go here and kill this bear. I, I can't do that. Um, so, like, I think they die. The only way I can... Oh, the beetles. Okay. Okay. I definitely need specialists to be here. I think we just lost a few people. Um... The getting getting our specialists to come back is not possible to do right now. So we're going to lose like three people here. Um, the bear is going to kill two. And those beetles are absolutely going to kill more. Like there's nothing I can do. So I need this guard post would have been really nice to have, right? Yeah. Um, the thing I need though is I need my specialists to come back to the map and to take care of this. 
So we're going to have people dying, and right, that's going to happen right now. Nature in my backyard. Apparently, they won the battle against the bear. So that happened. Um, I'm curious as to how much health they have left. 100? Really? Do you guys just get all of your health back after you win a fight? Is that how that works? How in the world did you win? Muhammad died. So Okay, so one, one colonist did die. But the other one survived and the bear was defeated. Great. Can you guys like, you know, man your weapons or not? Like you're not going to... Can you guys have weapons? I have automatic rifles in storage. <gasps> Hostiles are defeated. Yep. Okay. There's a lot of stuff going on here, guys. Specialists on the maps are ready again. We, we win! Yay! Oh, look at the tools. Look at the tools. Superior tools. It's dangerous. But with good scavenging skills, we can get it. And that seems like a job for Pinkman if he wasn't so damn yes. slow. I want somebody yes. who has 200 scavenging. Yeah, but is also fast. This will work. 23 hours. Go get that. Can do. Superior tools. I love it. Uh, and then we also would love to have the uh, these rare metals. I don't remember what we used rare metals for, but uh, we can get this for essentially free. Ready. So why don't I have somebody who's fast at it? What's can up? you reach it? Yeah. So we'll have you go ahead and do this. This has 45 components. That's Call our next out. target. Absolutely. Okay. Ready. 45 components. Yes, please. Can do. And then Aramis, I'm going to have you... you know, we're just going to head this way. Everybody just stay together and we'll just get everything. We'll wipe this place. Um, in the meantime, uh -huh. you're coming back to the colony. Yeah, you're already there. I need at least one specialist that can help yes. manage this stuff. What do we have here? I can't just leave the colony unattended anymore. It's clearly not a good idea. Although, I mean, we're going to be bringing resources here. Once we have guards here with weapons, this should be a lot easier to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with your fists there, dummy. Can nobody help him? Why do you guys wait till you're near death to run? I mean, I, yes, I can hit this button, I know, but I don't want to because it does like a permanent uh, happiness debump to everybody. And I just assume not hit everybody with the unhappiness. But if I have to, then, you know, if I have to, then I have to. They run away. We are living. They are at least living to fight another day. And we're about to get the wood delivered. There it is. Now we just need someone to build it. There we go. And so with, with guards posted here, they should have weapons. And with weapons, they should kill all of these things. And we shouldn't have to deal with this We've anymore. Made a new discovery. I'm hoping that's how that works. I'm really hoping that's how that works. Uh, pollution depleted. Good. That's, that's a good thing, pollution being depleted. Working on all of this. Uh, we probably want to go ahead and get this worked on too. Once we have, uh, once we have this guard post up. Yep. Taking damage, still malnourished. I'm going to kind of say I don't care about the malnourished things. I mean, I'm going to do the best I can with it, but you know, at some point you're going to eat your veggies and you got to eat your meats and get every, just get everything, you know, do it all. I like how they won't attack this guy while he's building. That, that's really awesome. They're attacking everyone else moving into the area, but they're not attacking us here. Let's let's actually stop that. Um, can you guys just can you guys just leave this alone right now? Just stay out of this for now. And then uh, once this is done, seriously, I did say stay out of it. Tried to anyway. All the beetles are going to die before this guard tower is done. Okay, we have two people stationed here. And the hope would be now that they would be armed and able to shoot the beetles when they get close enough. I would hope. We'll see how well effect how effective that is. In the meantime, uh, concrete hauling can be... I was going to say put on hold, but actually I could move it to over here. 
there is a source over here it's really far away but there is a source that you can get over here that looks to be significantly safer at least it appears to be significantly safer and yeah we'll go ahead and leave this there because we're not going to use it and then all of this pollution should probably get cleared up too eventually Specialist ready for actions again. Are we going to take them out? You got this. I want those tools back at camp. Um, like, very badly. I'm going to have you head over to this guy. We'll take him out later, too. Here's 25 attack. You're welcome. Here's another... Rare metals is good here. Here's another 25 attack. Uh, take him out. Goodbye. You don't stand a chance, buddy. You don't stand any chance at all. This is also a good supply of uh, rare metals too. Like uh, uh, a good, a great supply, a very nice supply of components. There, I said it. Uh huh. I know people were wanting me to say nice, so I did. What do we have? There here? we go. Let's see this. Burning skies. So the plane looks like an older model airliner. Its fuselage snapped clean in half. Both wings are mangled and are partly overgrown with vegetation next to a large crater. Skeletal remains can be seen from the underbrush. It's possible to grab quite a lot of stuff, especially if trampling over the deceased. Um, the dead don't care. I feel like, here's the thing about this game. It seems like your entire camp knows everything that you do. So if I show disrespect, if I say the dead don't care, I can get more stuff, but people will be unhappy. I, I don't get that. I don't know why everyone has to be unhappy when that happens, but I'll get more stuff. That said, I would actually like happiness. I need it. So we're going to show respect. And showing your straight and great care, the specialist goes through the plane's fuselage. It is a grim and silent duty, knowing that so many lost their lives in this very spot. The hall will help the colonists back home. The respect shown to the... To the remains makes the colonists happy or in this case just doesn't make them unhappy we get 40 parts and 40 components and the quest is now complete so we will now head back to the right colony away. with that loot uh looks like we're good everything else is good nope All Team. Cleaned up. got more science good for you and can you do this without dying 10 damage every 12 hours you're going to take 30 damage you'll be left with nine health You will be left with nine health. The problem, though, is if I've miscalculated somehow, which I don't think I have, but if I have, then you die. And it's a little close call. And I don't know what's going to happen or if it's possible something else happens. What I could do, though, is have you go ahead and scout this area just to see what's over here while you're here, you know? And then uh, we can recruit another specialist as well. I'm kind of light on money at the moment. So I, I don't have it. Uh, a lot of times when people come into the camp, they bring money with them, and that's how we add it to our coffers to use. Uh, and then every once in a while, uh, what I, I think I really need actually is a trading, is to is to get trade right. Um, Memorial shrines, we need those stuff, that stuff too. But I think I need the trade center. That's a lot of wood. The trade center would let me trade with other colonies, and that is a very important thing too. I could place the trade center way back over here. I think. Yeah, we'll have the road head down. Wait, really? Yeah, all the way down there, huh? Okay. We'll have the Trade Center be here, I guess. And then this road will head down this way, too. Uh, and actually, speaking of roads, for research, that might be the next step. Because um, we have shrines and stuff now, that's good. And, like, all this stuff is going to make people happy, you know? It's, this public house is, uses water and stuff. I think it'd be really nice to get, like, comfortable housing going on. That'd be nice uh, as well. Botanical garden uses some water, regression release, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But, uh, is it... It's going to be infrastructure, right? Deep drilling. No, pavement right here. I think getting paved roads could be a very good thing, too. Uh, and then we can also queue up the panel coating at the same time. So we'll we'll grab this and then we'll go get the panel coating to help our solar panels. And then once we have paved roads, we can start getting faster movement uh, throughout the colony that way too, which is nice. There are survivors at the gate. See, these survivors, if they join us, they might have money and that'll add to my 
my mouth. Ragged bunch shuffles wheat? slowly towards the gate. Do they have the seeds for wheat, or is it just wheat? Either way, they're also bringing metal to me. One of them is mutated. I have the room for them, so accept. Yep. All right, there you go. We have mutations. Are you traveling to the doctor to treat your mutations? I don't know how our doctors would possibly know how to treat radiation like mutations, but I, I guess I'm not arguing. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to argue about it. All right. So we have now I'm going to get rid of get out of here. We don't we, I don't want this. This is like an emergency water supply. OK, we don't work this unless we absolutely have to. OK, so most of this is just what we'll use traditionally. So 22 water surplus. And that means that both of these are now full, which is fantastic for me. I like those both being full. I think I should have more though. So I'd like to have actually bigger storage would be nice. And I think that's in this resources, junk, tool, smithing. I, th I thought it was in here. Ooh, you know what? Power saws. Hey, that's what we really need for the wood, right? Instead of having three lumber yards. Just have like one or two, like two sawmills. That would have been so much better. Huh. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to cue this instead. Pavement than power saws. That would have been way better than to making all these different places. Uh, especially with this. This lumber yard is not even doing anything because it just finished. Uh, we'll have you guys just cut down the local trees that are here I guess uh, and then the forester there's only one guy planting we'll move your work area over to here because there's room for it and then I think this lumber yard I'm gonna have you go a little bit further away to... all right that no no I'm not I'm gonna have you go this way right here I want you to cut down where to go right here I want to cut down these trees so that I can build here and not waste the wood Okay, I'm going to leave this video here because, wow, that uh, that took a bit, didn't it? Huh? Yes, it did. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just make sure that we keep our supply of firewood up because we might have winter soon. And uh, we have uh, have not killed the beetles. Killed some of the beetles, but we didn't kill all the beetles. And I think um, now that we have this guard post and people are actually here, it looks to me anyway like they're here. Uh, walking, walking. You're not actually working. At least not yet. You do have the, you do have guns though. You're just not on your post. Uh, anyway, I think with people with guns, we should probably be able to eliminate these. Right. Actually, here we go. We'll just take Inic over here. We'll have you go ahead and do it because the specialist can wipe out all these bugs. And then we don't have to worry about them anymore. And um, I don't know why you'd have to walk past the bug to shoot it, but sure um then we won't have to worry about this anymore and then we can continue getting this concrete and uh there's also some metal over here and everything they're gonna continue to scout the area too so there's only 33 percent so they're gonna walk around here and see this stuff and now that they're a guard post they'll have guns so they can protect themselves a little bit better to do that too um i want to decontaminate this yeah decontaminate this maybe i'll move your work area slightly to be like this so that you'll take care of this instead. All right. I think that's going to do it for today. We dealt with a lot of things today. I think it all went fine. Uh, great, maybe not. But I think it went fine. Okay. And uh, we're going to get Trade Center up now. That's being built as we speak. Uh, we have more than enough resources to handle it. And on the map, we're wiping out the bandits. Uh, we're, we're getting stuff done. I'm, I'm appreciative of it. I'm also appreciative of you watching the videos. Thank you so much for doing that. If you hit the like button, that makes me even more happy. Uh, you can subscribe if you haven't already. I really hope that we'll see you in the next one. It's been fun. Take care. Bye-bye.